MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago Cubs. The Cubbies look to end this three-game interleague series with a sweep next. John Lester is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Boy, talk about a guy that's hard to score off of. Last three starts, an ERA of under one. So if you think you're going to score a lot of runs off this guy, you better get him early because once he settles in, he's awfully tough. And Matty V, this is one of the top pitchers in the sport right now. Leading and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew the Benintendi. Left He'll get us started in this one Benintendi. under the lights. Now the first pitch here from Lester. Underway now on this Sunday night as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, d -Roll. Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. The 1-1 home. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. The one two. Grounded to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now to the plate, Michael Chavis. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. So striding forward now, J.D. Martinez. RBI opportunity for him here, and he's the guy you want at the plate as he currently leads the American League in runs driven in. Yeah, he's definitely been one of the best run producers in the sport over the last several weeks. I'm sure his teammates are hoping he can keep this up all the way into the fall. He's set, and the pitch. Just oh. off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Chavis, a runner at second with one away. Into the corner and slicing foul. One one on its way from Lester. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Martinez is retired, two down now. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball. One ball, no strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he 
fouls this one off. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, D-Roll. That's it. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Red Sox leave one. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Zach Godley starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? One thing you get with Zach Godley, you get a lot of energy. You'll notice between innings, if he gets the last out of an inning, he'll be sprinting into the dugout. Good stuff, not great stuff. Upper to lower 80s fastball, 88 to 92. He'll touch maybe 93 on occasion. Good breaking ball. He's one of these guys, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. He's a really tough guy, and he loves to compete, and he's a solid pitcher. First offering on its way. Albert Almora is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused on playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. At the plate, Daniel Descalzo. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Yeah, and just one pitch after giving up the base knock, he uncorks a wild one and allows him to go to second. That's like giving a guy a double that he didn't even earn. That'll drive you crazy when you're on the mound. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. No. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. 3 oh, and 0 oh now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's set. Here's the 3-0. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Contreras. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. This is where, as a hitter, you need to slow your thinking. You know he's trying to get you a double play ball right here. You have to control the strike zone. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. None out, runners at first and second. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. One there. On to Moreland, and it's a double play. Batting four. Not short stop. Javier. 
Baez. Stepping into the box, Javier Baez. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Here comes the first pitch. Baez has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to and it's impressive to watch. Yeah anybody that has the ability. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. Now batting, Xander Bogarts. Having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. These teams don't match up all that often, but due to interleague, they get a chance to play this season, and it's really difficult to sweep a team in a three-game series when you don't play that team all that often. A great call that time as they caught him thinking fastball. It's two and one. Now here's the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Almora is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. Standing in, Rafael Devers. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Here's the first pitch to him. Into center field, line drive base hit. So it's a one out base knock for him here in the second. Good time to check out the league leaders in hits. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping in now, Kevin Pillar. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. His past history against John Lester, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Fouled away. Hard to attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an up to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. From the belt, kicks and deals. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And that's going to be off the ivy-covered wall. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. That's just some great base running from the guy at first. The ball had plenty of air under it, but he got a good read, recognizing it wasn't going to be caught, and he hustled all the way around home. That's something that shouldn't go unrecognized in that play.
Into the box now, Zach Godley. The swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Well, his guys just gifted him with a two-out RBI, and now he's got a chance to help himself, too. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Red Sox on top in the early going. one nothing as we play the second. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. On to the bottom of inning number two. Now 1-0 Boston. Ready now. David Bodie is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Oh, no. And he falls oh. behind now, 2-0. Oh. Godley, a previous member of the Diamondbacks organization. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Grounder down the line at third. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Batting fifth. The right field. Big bag. Into the box now, Jason Hayward. To show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's the ball. A runner at first with no outs here. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Hayward, or often just Jay Hay. He was a first-round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds, and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And this is swung on and missed, and Hayward has gone on strikes, and there's one away. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. To the plate now, Steven Souza, as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. 268, the average for him coming in. One home run, 13 RBIs. The 0 1 pitch. Ah. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Boston's out in front, one to nothing. 
New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed its 0 and 1. The pitch. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now batting, the second baseman, Michael Davis. Digging in to try it again, Michael Chavis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two and one. Here's Lester's offering. To two and two now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Souza is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter, the right fielder, J.D. Martinez. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And that misses for ball one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Two out, nobody on. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now the 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're up one to nothing. Welcome back as the Cubs look to get their bats going here in the third inning, and you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively, but first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game. And the stats do back that up, as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts. So that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Bottom of the inning now, and set to stand in is the veteran pitcher, John Lester. Here's the first pitch to him. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. That missed. Close. It's ball two. In this situation right here, I'm protecting my pitcher from himself. I know he wants to swing the bat and let the boys know in the clubhouse that he can do his job, but I'm probably putting a take sign on right here. The 2 1 home. Oh. 
And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Albert Almora is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. He's got it one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. At the plate, Albert Almora, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire oh. career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One out, nobody on. Hot shot on the ground is short. Gloved by Bogarts. Pro gets him, two down. Up next to the car, the third baseman. Daniel Descalzo. Ready for another chance. Daniel Descalzo reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now the pitch. Descalzo, a 32-year-old veteran, manning the hot corner down at third in today's game, although he's primarily considered a second baseman. You know, this is an interesting one. I'd be interested in two things. A, is he still using the glove that he uses at second base? And B, does he have enough arm strength to go over to third base? Because until you go backhand on that left side of the infield and turn and burn and throw to first, you have no idea the difference in arm strength that it takes to man that position as opposed to second. He pulls this one into right. Martinez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're down one nothing. Striding in, Mitch Moreland comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Moreland. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And Lester back to work as this is swung on and missed for the first strike. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. This is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league, and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 he is swung on and missed in that strike one. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both guys topping out so far in the low 90s. 93 for one guy, 91 for the other. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball. B 
big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Now the 2-1 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, he'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and swing at a pitch that bad? Not good. The 2-2. Two -two. Lifted the other way to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they lead it one to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. Devers fields it cleanly. And there's one down now. The batter number nine. Shortstop. Javier. Javier. So one away here in the Chicago fourth and into bat next the versatile weapon Javier Baez. First pitch of the at bat. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. Man this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And it's fouled away. One well below the zone. No runs, two hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. Into center field, line drive, base hit. Boy, Dero, that's awful scary from a pitcher's standpoint, but what's it feel like when you hit one as a hitter that you know it's going right at a pitch? Yeah, it's scary from the offensive standpoint as well. You know, you're taught to hit it right back where it came from, but those moments right there make you cringe as you're coming out of the box. We got lucky with that. David Bodie is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Line drive, base hit to right. Throw into second. And he's safe. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and And they're runners at the corners now. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Now the 2-1. It's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. A bullet to first base. Now that the left fielder, Keeper, Junior, Junior. 
So stepping in, Steven Souza, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. From the stretch. Ball. Here's the 1 0. No runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. 2 and 1 now to Steven Souza. The set and the 2 1. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. And he's down on strikes. So they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Cubs strand a couple. They trail this one one to nothing. In now, Kevin Pillar, who was a strikeout victim in his first try. Kevin Pillar. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to short. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Hey, so far, it's been easy pickings for this pitcher. He's gone through this lineup almost unscathed. But right there, leadoff single, middle part of the game. Let's see if he makes an adjustment before they do. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Souza is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. The pitcher, number 50. Godwin. Into the box now, Zach Godley. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First offering on its way. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance, it's ball one. One and no pitch on the way. Hits are now even at four apiece. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Now batting, the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. The 0-1 on its way.
Ball. Play 12. Two out with the man at first. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Pilar is on his way home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Standing in now, Michael Chavis, as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Throw up the line, but the tag, and he is out at the plate. Great athleticism. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 2-0 Boston. Welcome to the side of Chicago. Back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, thanks, Heidi. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-0. This is on the ground over to first. Moreland is there, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. So here now is the pitcher, John Lester. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he lays off there, 1-0. Whoa, not sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw on the first, takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. The center fielder, number five, Albert Almora. Ready for another shot now, Albert Almora. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball, and that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. Digging in, J.D. Martinez. No hits to this point. The right fielder, J.D. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now there's a changeup to start him out, but it drops low and away for ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Line drive to left. Souza is there and he'll bring this one in. Well, he hit that ball pretty oh, well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Wow. 
So the leadoff man retired, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Bases are empty. One man out. Ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Hayward has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next for the Red Sox, the short stop, Xander. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Now the first pitch here from Lester. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three. They're up two to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Daniel Descalzo. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The wind up and the 0 1. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. The 1-1 home. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Just hung in there on that one. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. On the move is Martinez. And it drifted on him a bit, but he's able to hang in there and put it away. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped him up. Bogarts into shallow left. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter number nine. Shortstop. Javier. Baez. Now at the plate, Javier Baez. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No, that's the ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Caught fastball misses downstairs, and it's 2 0 now. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Hit on the ground toward the left, and that is through into left field, a base hit. So it's a ground ball single to left for him here. His second hit tonight. And as we take a look there at the team leaderboard, you can see he ranks third best on this Chicago ball club. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. In there, 0 and 1. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done.
Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Drilled to the right side. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Here's Jason Hayward now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Ready on 0 and 2. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through into left to base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. First pitch on its way. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead. 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Here's the 0-2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Cubs wind up leaving him loaded. They trail it here 2-0. Rafael Devers the next to bat. And guys, seventh oh, inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. On its way is pitch number 75. A shot down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. In now, Kevin Pilar. A ball and no strikes. One for two in the ball game thus far. Swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Fouled off. The one two. No.
One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Souza is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. Now at the plate, Jonathan Lucroy. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Red Sox on top, two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next, it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Victor Caratini. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Now back, the pitcher, John Anthony Rizzo is into the on-deck circle now as he'll pinch hit for the pitcher, Lester. Number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. This year against right-handed pitching, Rizzo is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business, and maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Swing and a liner, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Yeah, he's got the outs when he's needed him and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch. Hard to keep that up over several innings, though. So here's Albert Almora next. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Line drive base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. 
Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. High in the air out toward shallow right. Martinez is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Cubs strand a couple. They trail things here two to nothing. Kyle Ryan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jairo Munoz is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. The Cubs entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball, a bloop and a blast, and if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Now that the Cubs are into their bullpen now, as there are the final numbers for their starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. At the plate, Andrew Benintendi, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The one two. Seared down the first baseline. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Hey, there's a bullet down the right field line. That had double written all over, but a great job by the right fielder to cut it off and keep him to a single. Nice aggressive turn by the batter right there, but hats off to the right fielder to keep him from getting the scoring position. So now to the plate, Michael Chavis. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's two for three and looking for more here. <laughs> Fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh. It's one and two. One, two. To two ball. balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes.
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Now Three for four. He's looking locked in. J.D. Martin. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. On the stretch. Strike swinging. Chased a high one there. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The 0 1 on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. One one home. Runners are at first and second with one away. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, it's been a game of starting pitching so far is on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our two nothing ball game. So digging in now, Mitch Moreland. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set and the pitch. Too high, 1 and 0. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Hayward. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Leith Hembry. It's on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now, half of the eighth. Number 37, Keith Hembry. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Martinez moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. The batter, the second baseman, David Bodie. Stepping into the box, David Bodie trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First offering on its way. Now a wave and a miss looked like the slider there. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate now, Jason Hayward. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Ryan Tapera enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Next up for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts, over three to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. First pitch of the at bat on its way. On the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batter, third base, Rafael Devers. Here now is Rafael Devers. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. One out, nobody on. And 2 and 0 as this one's taken low. And the slider here is not going to find the zone either, and it's 3-0 now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and one to him now. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. The center field is on the ball. Kevin Stepping in now, Kevin Pillar. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Runners on first with one down. Ball one, well below the zone. On the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Into the box. Steven Souza. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. 
Jackie Bradley Jr. is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Center field. Number 19, Jackie Bradley Jr. The pitch. Yeah. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Ah, tied him up there as this is softly hit down the line. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the night. First baseman, number seven, Victor Caratini. Stepping up now, Victor Caratini. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely do you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate. He's a far He's superior right. hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. Here comes the 0-1. Drilled on the ground is short. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Now back the pitcher, Ryan. Chris Bryant will get the call to pinch hit here, as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Ryan. in there for strike one he's got the average of 285 here to start play 13 home runs and 36 RBIs a one count here's the pitch ah. taken called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight the Cubs are down to their final strike here Inside. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Two and two now with two out here in the ninth. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Boston with a division leading 60th team win this year. Zach Godley earns his sixth winning decision in this one. John Lester pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Heath Hembry works two full innings in relief to record the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball.